Um, so energy, hi, by the way, I was just explaining energy to myself and I thought, well, well I might as well just do it on camera if I'm going to talk to myself. Uh, the way it pulses in and out of reality is like, uh, like you say, you get energy from someone or somewhere and it, it's not that it comes in a direct line from them to you. Although you could, you could kind of imagine that that does also happen illusorily, but realistically it is creating within you. But what's happening is it's appearing outward like a balloon. Like, so energy, this vibrate, this vacuum, this Higgs field, uh, will expand and contract and that's all it can do. I mean, arguably that's all it can do. That's like its main function is to expand and contract. And the way that it does that will produce electrical fields and various uh, monopolies. You, to get energy, you basically have to create it with an expa through an expansion. Um, so, but if you think the energy is like, say, like take heat, for instance. Yes, heat is coming to you from the source. So if there's a fire in front of you and you're here, you will feel the heat coming from the fire traveling to your hand. This is what we've been taught. This is classical physics. And that is illusorily happening. Arguably it's happening. It's like saying this table is a solid wood. And that is arguably re right because to exist in this world, in this reality, we need to accept some basic falses as truths. Math is another one of those things. Uh, and, you know, playing the game about being human in general, a lot, of, a lot of this fakeness of walking around and making money and trying to be the best alpha, own the thing. It's, it's like we know it's fake. We know the reality is much deeper than that, but we kind of let ourselves lie in this faith. So the energy that seems to be coming to you from the fire is actually appearing in place like an ocean wave. I, I've said this before. And it's pretty basic stuff. So if you look at the surface of the ocean, the way waves travel, it's actually an upward motion that keeps happening. And everywhere it goes up, it looks like it's moving, but what's actually happening is just that area is just spiking. And that, that upward and downward motion is similar to the extra dimensional expansion that we're experiencing that's creating electrons. So although it will look like an electron, it's moving, it's actually disappearing and reappearing in place at the speed of light. And I think all matter, well, uh, I think that also like our bodies are doing that same thing. So we're not actually moving, we're vibrating and appearing. I think so. Why do you wanna take 